Okay, so today I want to talk a little bit about energy vampires. What are energy vampires for? <clears throat> Everything that exists must serve a purpose and they are here. So uh, what benefit can we get from those situations where we feel like someone is taking our energy? We have certainly all been around people or in situ situations, uh, you know, family member or coworker <clears throat> or close friend where we feel like our energy is being drained and sucked away from us. And after we're done in those situations, we just feel tired, exhausted, irritable, angry. Uh, you might even feel like you just need to take a shower and wash, wash it all off or something. Uh, those situations are there to actually tell you something about yourself. And this is the message that I want to get out, uh, is that those the people that you would perceive or consider as energy vampires. Yes, they are trying to take away your energy, knowingly or unknowingly, most of the time is unconscious, but no one can take away your energy unless you choose to give it away. So in some respect, in those situations, you are giving your power away. Most of the time, unknowingly, you don't know that it's happening. Uh, but you can only you only you can choose to let your energy go uh, and give it away so you have to figure out in those situations what is going on inside of yourself what's going inside on inside of your head that you are choosing to put yourself in a negative state and give your energy to this person and I'll just give you some tips some things that I found out about myself that helped me in these situations uh, if you are a healer or nurturer or you like to take care of people, uh, you know, that type of person, when you are around people that are suffering or going through trauma or drama or difficulty, a lot of the times you will, as a healer, uh, unconsciously take on the burden of that person's problems. Most of the time this is unknowingly onto yourself and you will add that burden on to your own <clears throat> problems which you already have to deal with and that will just ca cause more of a drain into yourself. So learning to let go of this attachment of learning to help people but feeling good through actually taking on their problems and you're not actually helping someone if you're taking their problems away from them. You're, you are helping someone if you are helping teaching them to empower themselves to deal with their own problems and their own situations. So there are healthy ways to go about, about that, helping people and healing people in their unhealthy ways. And in an unhealthy way, you will assume the burden of responsibility for them. And in the end, if you keep doing this over and over again, you will just enable them to come to you whenever they want energy and you will give it away and you will start to resent it after a while. Um, so, it's not your responsibility to take on other people's problems or solve their problems for them. You can certainly lend them a helping hand whenever you can, um, but don't take on their energy of their situation and don't dwell about, upon their problems for hours on end afterwards, even though the person's probably most likely already forgot about it after they talk to you about it.